Beth Deliaga. I'm a member of past Ellesmere United Church and now come to uh, Cliff Avenue United. I'm also a founding member of the Canada Philippine Solidarity for Human Rights. It's a nonprofit organization. The Philippines is really a beautiful, um, very, very rich in its resources. Unfortunately, because of the systemic um, corruption as well as uh, militarization happening, um, the, the people are people mostly are left in chronic um, poverty. When we talk about uh, militarization, um, I speak um, also where Canadian mining corporations operate the plundering of resources that is not benefiting the people, but it goes out of, of the country. People continue to still struggle in the midst of all what's happening just to, to survive and to have that life of dignity. Uh, my name is Reverend Stuart Lister. I am currently retired in the United Church of Canada. In the year 2012, I accompanied an international delegation from Canada and South Korea to the Philippines on a visit with the United Church of Christ of the Philippines. And at that time, we did a visit to a men's medium security prison where we had met and were introduced to political prisoners. There probably is a group of people who are actively protesting the, the situations. What struck me is an equal number, and probably more people simply rounded up simply rounded up on things that I did not know exist, existed, Jane Doe and John Doe warrants. Meaning if you were uh, dark skinned and had black hair, you could be picked up and that would describe most people in the Philippines. I was on a plane back from Manila wondering what to do with this obvious injustice. People can be languishing in jail for up to two years before they get to a judge. Uh, in Canada, that would happen within 48 hours. But up to two years where even the judge at the end would say these are trumped up charges. I mean, even within the system, it recognizes uh, the injustice of this, except somebody's lost two years of their life. These poor people um, don't have um, a bail, to a cash bail to um, bail them out. Would talk to friends around, what could I do? From a standing start, how do you do this? I do not know how to do this and ran across Ellesmere United Church. Ellesmere has that mission statement that I love and, and I, I think I've, I've embraced that um, in terms of the local, um, the, the national and the global community um, serving and, and preaching the gospel of Christ. They were closing at the end, end of June 2014. They wanted to allocate their money to what could be called resurrection causes. You get Stuart Lister coming back from the Philippines with this excitement. And you get uh, Beth Delaga who has got a passion for that. And so you get Beth saying, you know, we have some money that we're looking for new ministries to help. I suggested that, you know, oh, Bell Band is excellent supporting the, the lawyers, the visitation of families and, and the paperwork and all that comes into bailing out that person. And they allocated a, a good chunk of money that went to the United Church Foundation in Toronto to be administered. A smaller bit of money that went to the National Council of Churches of the Philippines immediately, who's going to be entrusted with this money from Canada eventually. Um, and at the, even the smallest part of that money for the very first release that we had was, an, was a very small part of what was even put to the, the Philippines. Having this legal defense fund was just like a breeze of, you know, of, of relief for, for the family, for the community. It felt good to be able to initiate something that has never happened before and to be able to initiate it in such a way um, and with a, a, enough money uh, to ensure that through the foundation it can continue and that it can continue to receive gifts. It's epic. It's epic.